In this video, we're gonna go through if Hooters is past their prime. So they're famous for their chicken wings, other chicken-based products. The chicken industry is growing quite a lot. Americans are consuming a lot more chicken. However, it's getting really competitive, whether it is full service restaurant like Hooters or a quick service restaurant, it's getting very competitive in the chicken space and Hooters might be past their prime. But first, let's go through a little bit about the history of Hooters. Hooters was founded in 1983 by six businessmen in Clearwater, Florida. They were inspired to create Hooters after visiting a bar in Florida that was decorated with pictures of beautiful women and cut off t-shirts. The chain's original menu consisted mostly of sandwiches and fried seafood with a focus on Hooters original Buffalo style chicken wings. In the years following the opening of the first Hooters, the chain expanded like wildfire. Today, Hooters has over 400 locations in 42 states and 28 countries. The franchise fee for Hooters though is pretty expensive. You're looking to open one, it's gonna set you back $75,000 for the, the franchise fee. That's more than double what the average is for a food franchise. You pay this fee upfront to Hooters corporate before you open your location. It's gonna set you back in terms of total investment it costs $2.2 million to $4.2 million to open up a Hooters. Improvements and signage was the biggest line at 1.4 million to 2.5 million dollars. You have to have a minimum net worth of 2.5 million dollars and liquidity of 1.5 million dollars. And then in terms of the space, 1.5 acres or larger, unless parking can be shared with adjoining lots, minimum building side of 5,000 square feet and you have to have at least 80 parking spaces. Royalty is pretty standard for food and beverage at 5%, national ad fund currently 2.5%, local advertising 1%. According to data from Restaurant Business Online, 303 Hooters locations in the United States made $835 million in combined revenue, resulting average unit volume for their US locations at $2.75 million. Now let's peel back the onion. What's your return on capital? What's the payback period gonna be for a Hooters franchise if you open in the United States? Initial investment at the midpoint, $3.2 million. Imagine you're making 15%. It's gonna take you 20 years with an estimated profit of about $400,000 to recoup your capital. 10% profit margin, which is more likely in, in 2023, 2024. You're looking at $275,000 a year in, in profits and 13.5 years to recoup your capital. So you better be making money uh, on the real estate side or hoping interest rates go way down because I don't know how you can make the debt servicing work for those type of profit margins. And the tough part is if Hooters isn't gonna sell for a ton. So if you have net sales of around $3 million and you're making 300K from the business, it's probably gonna sell for $1.5 million. If you invested over $3 million, that math doesn't add up. You lost $1.5 million in the transaction. So if you're making more money from the Hooters, if you invested less money to open up, it makes sense. Also acquisitions, maybe you can get a Hooters for 500K, a million dollars. It can make sense for an acquisition, but I don't see how you can make it work for opening up a new Hooters, unless it's if it's in a ready built space and you're gonna come in around that one mil, $2 million mark, I don't see how you make it happen at three or $4 million from the ground up. Probably better to buy an existing one if you wanna go on the brand. Definitely speak to franchisees as well as compare Hooters with other brands like Twin Peaks that we've done videos on in the past if you're looking to enter in this segment.